Well, here we are, the uh, infamous switchbacks of the Morrison Jeep Trail. Beautiful canyon, river. This is what we're heading up, this is why we came. Find our way up that to the top. Nothing but fun. So what do you think? I think I peed a little bit. <laughs> you haven't even started yet. <laughs> Ready for this? Yeah. What do you think? Yeehaw, let's get going. <laughs> I'm thinking Mary and I might be walking just a little bit. Do you think? Do you think? I don't know. Ah, uh, probably looks worse than it actually is. Titan makes it. There's a Nissan, Nissan Titan, Titan in front of us. Okay. I thought I seen a I flash of a windshield. Oh, dude. Okay. Because I was like, I keep watching, but I don't, I haven't seen anything. I just don't want him to get stuck, and then we have to get You're stuck right, behind us. We separate us, so. the men from the boys. <laughs> I'm a boy. <laughs> no, wow. <laughs> Carter jinxed us by saying, I hope he doesn't get stuck. The Nissan Titan that was ahead of us ended up totally cratering his rear drive shaft, um, leaving him stranded. This is a narrow trail, nowhere to turn around. It took us about two and a half hours, my brother Travis and his son Carter assisting the Nissan. They somehow, with winches and some ingenuity, got him turned around. And we had to move, or I shouldn't say we, Travis and Carter moved a bunch of rocks and made a spot where we could get the Nissan Titan off the trail enough for us to get by him. By the time we got that accomplished, we had others behind us on the trail. So kind of stacked things up for a couple hours. A lot of hard work on Travis and Carter's part, but they got the Nissan out of the way. We offered a lot of help. The guy refused any further rescue help. so. I hope things turned out well for him. The switchbacks on the Morrison Jeep Trail are known for number one, how steep the hillside is that you're switchbacking up. I mean, this thing drops off and uh, doesn't stop till you get to the bottom. The other thing that's really tough on this is very rocky. You gotta have a good vehicle. Um, the switchbacks are very tight. I mean, when you need to four-door Jeep Wrangler, you need to do a three or four-point turn to get around a switchback. That's a pretty tight switchback. Not a lot of room. The thing that made me the most nervous is your whole life depends on your brakes when you're backing up. You lose your brakes when you're in reverse on some of these switchbacks. Uh, bad news. You're going to the bottom. So make sure your equipment's in good shape if you ever do this trail.
sure if you can. Okay, it's up there. That boulder was in there, you guys gonna make it. Oh yeah. You got a big boulder okay, over here, right, you gotta right, try and clear it. There you go. Oh, like that? Yeah. I know I was going to try and hike up here, but then I was like, nope, you did though, didn't you? This is one of several spots that I was talking about earlier where your whole life is basically in uh, the condition of your brakes when you're backing up. You can see from the angle of my brother's Jeep, his brakes were to give out right now. He's over the edge and down at the bottom in pieces. It's what makes this trail a little bit exciting. Obstacle on the Morrison Trail. 
We made it all the way up the switchbacks. And now there's this last little spot. Through the gate, success. Well, we made it to the top. No damage to vehicles, no lost vehicles, no people hurt. Pretty fun trail, really. It's uh, be a challenge with a longer wheelbase vehicle than four-door Jeep, but I think you could still do it. Just a few more back and forth to get around some of those hairpin corners. Uh, good one to scratch off the bucket list. Beautiful country. This is definitely one of those uh, trips that you want to do if you're an off-road enthusiast. And I would suggest you have some experience and good equipment. It's not an easy trail. The ter terrain's pretty rough. And there's some technical points to it. Make sure your brakes are in good shape because you do a lot of backing up and there's nothing behind you to stop you if things fail. But great trip so far. Looking forward to the rest of it. Okay, I didn't feel camp number two last night because we stayed in a hotel in Cody, so it wasn't all that exciting. But uh, this is pretty, pretty nice camp. Got Ty and Elizabeth set up here cooking dinner. Steaks and what? Steaks, steak, zucchini, mushrooms, onions. Ooh, I better come get a picture of that. There's our camp. View is terrible from camp. It's too bad it's so smoky. Be even more incredible. But uh, pretty nice. There's Carter, Scooby Con, the freaking genius. Today he rescued a poor stranded gentleman from Tennessee that busted his rear drive line on the trail. So hopefully he comes out okay. Come get a picture of dinner here. <laughs> There's going to be plenty left over. Who too. says <laughs> camping food isn't good? Yeah, that's right. Huh? There we go. Freaking genius. Also, the man that rescued the man from Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, the guy that decided to run the Morrison by himself. Yeah, run the Morrison. That's one thing we will tell you. It's a fun trail good trail but have some experience know what you're doing have the right rig and don't go alone nope because I might need to pull you out just ask Ty yeah that was a little below the belt but well deserved <laughs> so what's for dinner over here Trav? Uh, chicken fajitas tonight chicken fajitas Chase? Pasta. What kind of pasta? Uh, panini. Yeah, okay. panini. <laughs> we got meat sauce over there. We're having pasta too. We're having cheese filled tortellini. Yeah, I was going to get that, but I'll make the big bucks like you, and it's like twice as much as just making the panini. So. It is? Yeah. See, us little folk that look at price tags. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll probably have enough to, if you want some, you can have some. I might just take you up on that so I don't have to cook my own. If, okay. Because I have extra pasta for the uh, squirrel. We squirrel. Have <laughs> squirrel. We probably have enough There's for free. Three. Snake in the grass? No, it sounded more like a mouse running around. Uh, oh, that was so cool. Probably is. Come around the bend along the rivers. Uh -huh. Big old snake we coming to swim you. in the river. Carol's like, "What is it? Go see him!" I'm like, "I ain't going to see what that snake is." <laughs> thing was, I did not get to see the snake. <laughs> go see what that snake is. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, you guys, go ahead and eat. Don't wait for us. <laughs> All right, gotta eat it while it's hot.
That's true. All right, so we're having spinach and cheese filled tortellini with meat sauce and alfredo sauce and some parmesan cheese sprinkled on top. Mm-mm good. All right, we just had a couple of elk hunters come by on their four-wheelers and they were stopped to make sure Mary was okay seeing her on the road by herself and then seeing our group <coughs> and uh, they let us know that they'd just been chased off by two large grizzly bears uh, a mile or so away from where we're camped the bears had a elk carcass and the hunters had walked in on it and kind of surprised the bears and so Everybody's on a little edge tonight with the chance of there being some grizzly bears in the area. So, ought to be an interesting night. We'll see what happens. Wish us luck. And that's uh, what some of the adventure camping in bear country. Kind of fun. Unless you're out in the dark by yourself. Help stop for lunch. It's too bad it's so smoky. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful country. Ty and Elizabeth over there. Tortilla, you know, if you're Carter's like, all right, I got bread. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So I got guys I work with that would say lettuce isn't food, that's what food eats. Mm -hmm.
All right, here's our last camp. We uh, took a little longer to get across the top of the Morrison Trail. We took our time coming down the beautiful Beartooth Highway. And uh, all that, we decided to go through Yellowstone. They had the road between Tower and Canyon closed, so that means a long way around. So we got in really late trying to find a place to camp last night. And we found this spot in an old, looks like been a forest fire here over the last few years. So not the prettiest place we camped on the trip, but still really nice. So spent a cold night and uh, good sleeping weather. We'll finish trip today going through Teton National Park, Jackson Hole, up over the Bondurant back down towards Evanston. Been a good trip.